Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share my luxury handbag collection for 2022. Before we get into it, there was one bag that I got recently that was sold out everywhere. So I'm going to share that as well. Let's jump into the bags. Make sure to thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. And that's it. Let's see these bags. First one I'm going to share is the Chanel 19 flap. This is the biggest size and I did get it in black. And when I bought this bag, it was... <laughs> I mean, it still is kind of the trendy bag. I know Chanel released some newer bags this year that I think aren't as kind of classic as this one. Um, I think this will be a very timeless bag. I know it is less structured than the classic flap, but I do think this will stand the test of time. And um, I did get the large because I just thought, you know, one day I'll have kids, I'll wanna throw a ton of things in this bag. And the black, won't get dinged up too easily. This is very durable. So even though, um, you know, it is a softer leather, it doesn't get dinged up very easily at all. You can wear it a lot. I have the smaller version of this in white and I don't wear that one out much because yes, the leather is good and durable, but the color, I, I don't wanna risk it. And I know everyone is wondering do you regret buying this bag after you purchased it? Because I feel like so many luxury purchases, especially for bags, you buy it and then you regret it. Do I regret it? No, I love this bag. I don't regret it. And I'm glad I bought it before prices went up on it. Okay, the next um, item, this one I've been looking for and it has been sold out in this color everywhere. It's this Chloe tote. And I finally found it on Vima and if you guys haven't heard of them, it's a really good place to shop for designer items. They have a ton of designer items and it's basically a global marketplace for designer items. So basically it's like going to country to country because you guys know in different countries, luxury items are different prices and that's why people travel to, let's say Italy to buy Gucci. So most of the items are sourced after you place the order, but make sure to message the personal shoppers through Vima to make sure the item is in stock before you pay. And then also, I know when you're using a new site, you're so skeptical if the item's real or not. They have a zero tolerance policy for fake items. So if you're worried about that, they will refund your money back if something turns out to be fake. I found the site to be reliable and just make sure to um, check in with their seasonal sales because I want you guys to get the best deals and you can know about those through their um, newsletters. So this is where I finally found the bag and it came like a month ago and I wanted the black version. I know a lot of bloggers and influencers have the brown version, but I wanted the black version because again, it's durable and I'm, <laughs> whenever I pay for a bag, I want it to last. Um, so if you got the ones with the tan stra um, straps, I feel like, you know, you wear it a few times and you'll see marks on it versus this. I just feel like it's gonna last a long time. Of course, you still have to be careful with it, but I feel like it's going to be durable. So I really, really kind of went with that. It's kind of going to be my go-to as I wanna leave the house quickly. If it's your iPad, if it's kind of your daily essentials, let's say you're gonna go to Santa Barbara and drink some wine with your girlfriends, it will fit your daily essentials. So it's kind of a no-brainer go-to bag. And I also love this canvas fabric, it's really, nice and I love that it's gray because it's not going to pick up dirt and well it will pick up dirt and dust but it won't show dirt and dust easily. So this bag I'm sure a lot of you remember from Instagram so this was another sold out one and I remember when I bought it I got so many DMs requesting for you guys to buy it from me and you wanted to pay more and I was like there's no I'm not making a profit off of you guys that's not gonna work so um but I remember how sold out this bag was. I love this bag it is still one of my favorite bags. I know a lot of you were kind of <laughs> passionate about me keeping the one that was all this color so there's a version of this bag that is all dark brown like the bottom is so this part matches this part um, that's more classic and timeless this was a little more trendy but I kind of I like going against the grain a little bit and buying bags that I think are a little more unique than you know the classic classic bag so that's why I kept this one but I know there was such a debate with you guys about which one to keep and I ended up keeping this one and I'm glad I did it is a very neutral bag. I can wear it with anything. Um, this one, if you want durability, I have to say this one is probably the most durable bag, even compared to my classic um, caviar Chanel flat bags. This is way more durable. When this clips out and you clip it back in, it does touch the metal here and it can leave a small 
dang, it doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of you guys, it will bother, so you just have to be careful. But aside from this little thing, everything else is fine. And it has this zipper back, and then there's no zipper inside, which I wish there was a zipper inside, but there's one on the outside. The next bag that I've been wearing a ton this year is this Gucci bag, and I know so many of you are gonna absolutely hate this bag, and some of you, a few of you, will like this bag. I think more of you will hate this bag than like this bag, uh, because it's just very kind of artsy, and I, in real life, it looks so much prettier. On here, it looks kind of a little bit cheap, but in real life, the detailing of each one of these stitches, it's like artwork. What happened is I actually bought this bag and I returned it immediately, and then it was just, I kept thinking about it for like six months, and then it was sold out and I found it online and I bought it used. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really love it and I think when you have a neutral, let's say if you're wearing an all white lace outfit, like a lace skirt and just a simple top, this just instantly makes the outfit look so couture and chic and it's just, it's like wearing art and I really wanted a bag that was like that. And this is a very structured bag, unlike the Chanel 19 flap, but um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. It has a pocket here. I'm sure you can find it used if any of you like it. Okay, another bag that I love and have been wearing a ton this year is this Valentino one. Um, Valentino has changed up the style of their Rockstead bags a lot throughout the years, but this is still my favorite and it's so classic. And I, to me, this belongs in a museum. I just think it's one of their most beautiful designs and I just wish they could just stick to this and make it a classic. I love it so much and I, no, it's risky getting a cream white color, but the contrast between the delicate cream color and then the studs, the sharp studs, it, again, it's like the most beautiful, perfect design to me. Um, and then let me just fix it so you guys can actually see what it looks like. It has that on the top. If you do have this bag, you probably know not to hold it by this too much because it does stretch. You do have to be careful with this bag because again, it is very soft leather. So this isn't like the Louis Vuitton one where you can throw it around and nothing will happen. This you have to be careful with, but this is again one of my favorites and I think it's a classic for Valentino and I absolutely love it and it does fit a lot, but again, you don't wanna to fit too much in here. Um, I don't want it to lose its shape. Okay, so another bag that I got this year is this huge massive tote. Do you see it? By Saint Laurent. Um, I have the black version of this huge tote, and I have to say it is one of my favorite totes ever. I'll show you a photo of me wearing it. And I wore that tote so much that I just thought I should consider buying another version of that tote. I looked at the colors they had for this, and there, there was a really cool olive green one that I fell in love with, but again, I thought, I use these totes for travel, to go to the beach. I actually do take them to the beach because they're so durable. You don't have to worry about them getting dirty or damaged. You might think I'm insane, but I actually do take it to the beach. So the other colors were very light and I didn't want to go with the light colors. So I thought this was great. I was a little bit nervous because sometimes this material is not the most durable. Um, but when I got it, wow, they did a really good job in manufacturing this and I am impressed YSL. I really, really am impressed because to manufacture with this quality is not easy. This will really last you a lifetime with how good this is made. It really is sturdy. If you guys need a big travel tote, I really love this and Again, I'll show you photos of me wearing the black version. If you guys wanna see a video with all of my luxury bags throughout the years, let me know in the comments. I wanted to just do this video for 2022, but I do wanna say before buying a luxury bag, just make sure it is really what you want because even if you have to resell it, you lose a lot of money reselling. Make sure it's something you really love and you're going to wear throughout the years. It's really, really important. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, leave all your comments down below. I read all of them. And that is it. I love you guys so much. See you soon.